December 3rd, 2020, CBS Evening News. Uh, it's very important. Uh, this is for history. I'm, I want to record this because the amount of word salad put into this story to, f to change the truth and the narrative is, is just, it's, it's amazing. You could teach a col college course on yellow journalism, basically, which used to be considered a bad thing, although now maybe, I don't even know if you can use the word yellow in saying something's bad or not, but the amount of words that they're using, and they're falsely using these words, um, is, is just really terrible. I'm going to play it, and I'll make some comments afterwards. Tonight, there are signs that President Trump's support among key political allies may be slipping as the president hints that Attorney General William Barr could be next in his post-election purge of officials who won't back his claims of voter fraud. CBS's Ben Tracy reports from the White House. President Trump tonight won't say if he still has confidence in his attorney general. Ask me that in a number of weeks from now. Uh, they should be looking at all of this fraud. CBS News has learned that Mr. Trump had a tense meeting with Attorney General Bill Barr Tuesday when Barr was seen at the White House for more than two hours. President Trump is angry that Barr publicly contradicted his false claims of election fraud, saying the Department of Justice has seen no evidence that could overturn the election. They haven't looked very hard, which is a disappointment, to be honest with you. After President Trump's 46-minute-long baseless video rant about election fraud Wednesday... If we are right about the fraud... Joe Biden can't be president. Even one of his most loyal allies, Senator Lindsey Graham, seems fed up. To the Trump legal team, you're making all these claims, you got to prove it. Doing a video is not proof. But the Trump campaign's claims have been dismissed by several courts for lacking evidence. Today, the Wisconsin Supreme Court rejected the campaign's latest effort to overturn the election results in that state. This is a swindle. It's a con job. In Michigan, the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, tried to rein in his own witness as she made more baseless claims of fraud. What, what about the turnout rate? 120%? And Ivanka Trump was questioned for more than five hours Tuesday by investigators looking into President Trump's 2017 inaugural committee. And allegations donor funds were used to enrich the Trump family. Today, Ivanka called the investigation another politically motivated demonstration of vindictiveness. And here at the White House tonight, President Trump is starting to lose members of his inner circle. White House Communications Director Alyssa Farah resigned today. This is an acknowledgment that the Trump administration is coming to an end. Nora. Benjamin. Wow. Wow. We've got concluding statements by reporters about what something means? Really? I'm going to go back and play this, and I'm going to pause at key moments and just point out, in case you didn't catch it, because it's so slickly done. Um, but there are definitely lies in here that need to be refuted. And there we go. Maybe slipping as the president. Okay, here we go. And the incredible nurses that care for them. Agent Ideas, thank you. Tonight, there are signs that President Trump's support among key political allies may be slipping. As okay, that's irrelevant. It's, it's irrelevant if support is allegedly slipping, which they didn't even use the word allegedly. There is constant pressure to move forward without reviewing what might have happened in the 2020 election. So this isn't the story. The, the story is that they're not actually, they don't care what might have happened in the 2020 election. That's the story. It may be slipping as the president hints that Attorney General William Barr could be next in his post-election purge of officials who won't back his claims of voter fraud. CBS has been... Well, that was amazing. They actually didn't put baseless claims or fraudulent claims. I bet she gets fined for that because almost every time... They use the word claims with Trump, they'll put it in baseless or fraudulent. She actually didn't there, it, 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 but, but they'll make up for it in, in a moment. Steve Van Tracy reports from the White House. President Trump tonight won't say if he still has confidence in his attorney general. Ask me that in a number of weeks from now. Uh, they should be looking at all of this fraud. 
CBS News has learned that Mr. Trump had a tense meeting with Attorney General Bill Barr Tuesday when Barr was seen at the White House for more than two hours. President Trump is angry that Barr publicly contradicted his false claims of... You can't use the word false... See, he used the word false claims. He can't say that. He can't prove that. It's baseless for him to say that the president's claims are fraudulent. His false claims of election fraud, saying the Department of Justice has seen no evidence that could overturn the election. Okay, so first there was there was no widespread evidence of voter fraud. You know, they're saying there's only 40 or 50,000 votes is the difference between who won this time in the key states. So... How can anybody know that there wasn't that amount of voter fraud targeted in specific states to flip the election? They don't know that. That's not that many votes. So he's con making conclusionary statements without any evidence. No evidence that could overturn the election. They haven't looked very hard, which is a disappointment, to be honest with you. I, I think he's right disappointment to be honest with you after president trump's 46 minute long baseless video rant baseless video rant okay so <clears throat> all along they've been saying present something present something so he does a 46 minute video presenting the talking points and they sweep and the news media sweeps it under the rug by saying baseless video rant this is this is russia from the 70s when I was growing up, that's what we were taught, that, uh, that uh, Russia and Pravda were constantly fooling their, <coughs> their uh, audience by totally showing the news from the government point of view. That's what this is. So we, we have graduated to what we accused Russia of doing back in the 1970s and 80s. It's a minute-long baseless video rant about election fraud Wednesday. If we are right about the fraud, Joe Biden can't be president. Now, that's just a very common sense if then. That's what a, a civil, intelligent person would say. Even one of his most loyal allies, Senator Lindsey Graham, seems fed up. To the Trump legal team, you're making all these claims, you got to prove it. Well, this is the core issue. When it gets right down to it, if there are no confessions from anybody, <coughs> it's literally impossible to come up with evidence without violating laws. This is what nobody's talking about. There literally was no way to come up with evidence that's so, um, uh, that, that's just so groundbreaking and that you cannot uh, uh, disprove, meaning the evidence is so strong to get that kind of evidence you would have had to break election laws involving cameras and access and trespassing. That's the only way to get the actual evidence that they're talking about unless somebody confesses. That's what they're not talking about. Okay? If you're not going to, if, if nobody's going to confess, what the media is basically saying is if nobody confesses, there was no illegality. That's what they're saying. Illegality, that's a hard word to say, by the way. Uh, and that's ridiculous. So they're creating the meme that if, if nobody confesses, no law was broken. That's just what all this is about from the media's point of view. All these claims, you got to prove it. Doing a video is not proof. Well, actually doing a video, it's like people keep... People who are taunting out there, a lot of taunters out there, well, prove it. Well, you haven't said anything. So every time they deliver more, they get shut down by somebody saying, oh, but you didn't prove it. Right. Nobody confessed. That's, so they're not using the right words. So we're not getting an intelligent uh, uh, analysis of the situation. Doing a video is not proof. But the Trump campaign's claims have been dismissed by several courts. Oh, oh. You didn't use baseless there. What happened? By several courts for lacking evidence. Today, the Wisconsin Supreme Court rejected the campaign's latest effort to overturn the election results in that state. Well, nobody's going to... You see, the use of the word overturn is very controversial. It makes it sound like 
the president saying, hey, flip the result, we won. Questioning the process is the same thing as overturning the election. So, but instead of saying, questioning the process for review, that there was suspicious activity, they just say that, oh, well, the president wants, wants to win and they didn't let him win because it was, outra it was baseless. That's a total fabrication of reality, of what's going on. This is a swindle. It's a con job. In Michigan, the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, tried to rein in his own witness as she made more baseless claims of fraud. That, now that to me was the worst of them all. Okay, that's not what happened. The woman was basically rude. Okay, I'll say it. She was so amped up with emotion that the issue of whether or not what she said was true is not provable. Giuliani, I watched the video online, he reined her in because she kept interrupting the person who was trying to ask questions. She was so amped up she couldn't calm down. So he misrepresented this. As, I mean, this, this is the most out... This is such fraud. What he just did, what the reporter just did, is so fraudulent. I'm going to play it again. It's too late. Again, the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, tried to rein in his own witness as she made more baseless claims of fraud. What, what about the turnout rate? 120%? So what about that? Is anybody going to answer? That was the one her, 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 that's why she got so amped up, that there was a, allegedly more turnout than registered voters. So if it's not true, then just say what the number was. Put, your, put yourself out there. Don't just mock somebody. Say it was not 120,000, 120%, uh, 120%, it was 85%. Refute it. Don't ridicule it. 120%. And Ivanka Trump was questioned for more than five hours Tuesday by investigators looking into President Trump's 2017 inaugural committee. Okay, now, what was that? Why was that added in? That has nothing to do with the election. It is, it's something from three years ago. So suddenly they're in the middle of this big long rant about how everything's in, and they just shift completely to a new topic in the middle of a sentence. This is like the worst kind of editing you can do for a news reporter who's going around calling everybody else baseless and false. Trump's 2017 inaugural committee and allegations donor funds were used to enrich the Trump family. Today, Ivanka called the investigation another politically motivated demonstration of vindictiveness. And here at the White House tonight, President Trump is starting to lose members of his inner circle. White House Communications Director Alyssa Farah resigned today. This is an acknowledgement that the Trump administration is coming to an end. Excuse me? Excuse me? Who are you? Who are you? I mean, this is what Trump had to deal with for four years in office. This kind of jackassery from this guy, what he just said there. That's a gaslighting statement. Okay, you need to understand gaslighting nowadays because that's how that's how they kill things is by just mocking it and 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 it's so they are so above even acknowledging the 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 question that we're just gonna just we're just gonna pretend they're little kids and we just have to mollify them. I'm gonna play it again. This is so evil. This is like TV evil. And allegations donor funds were used to enrich the Trump family. Today, Ivanka called the investigation another politically motivated demonstration of vindictiveness. Here it is. And here at the White House tonight, President Trump is starting to lose members of his inner circle. White House Communications Director Alyssa Farah resigned today. This is an acknowledgement that the Trump administration is coming to an end. This is an acknowledgement? From who? By who? By Trump? So, so not only do you not ever actually foundationally refute anything Trump says, you then are saying, oh, and by the way, he's over now. Like, like you're God? Really? Were you elected? Who elected you? Who is this guy? Uh, let me see if he says his name. This prison is coming to an end. Nora. Ben Tracy, thank you. Ben Tracy. 
Ben Tracy, remember the name. Whenever you want a gaslighting assassin to, to try to mollify and neutralize a situation, that's your man, Ben Tracy. Okay, anyway, um, I felt, feel it's important for you to understand this kind of, this is not reporting, this is, again, word salad. This is like, this is like you go to a restaurant and you get a salad and you're done with the salad and you expect like, okay, now where's the main meal? And that was the main meal, was the salad. There's, they're just not gonna ever, they're not gonna ever say what the accusation was and then refute it. They're just gonna say everything's baseless and fraudulent and, and time is winding down. That's evil. That's very evil. CBS evil.